We've got a question here from Stryker who asks, T-Motor Velox V3 versus iFlight Zing E Pro 227 versus Axis Flying AE 2207. Um, that's an interesting one. What's the Velox V3? Mm -hmm. iFlight Zingy Pro. No thanks. And we've got the uh, what was the other one? The Axis Flying. The Axis. Hang on. The Axis Flying AE twenty two zero seven. Let's see. My my general feeling about Axis Flying is that they try to make high quality stuff. Um. I don't I, sometimes I think their stuff is a little like overpriced and kind of kludgy. 15 bucks is a good price. Um 14 euros, $16. Da, 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 da. Where's the price, please? And if I can I get the price? Do I need to full size the window? There we go. $15. So it's pretty comparable in terms of price. They're pretty comparable in terms of price. Which one do I like better? Proxy Juicy. All right. Well, the a Axis Flying, the fact that they have Proxy Juicy Bando Freestyle in their marketing immediately makes me go, oh, God. And any motor. That's just Those are just buzzwords. Come on. Don't do that to me. Neither. This is not a Unibel. Hello. Can I, can I see the? It's not a Unibel. Not a Unibel. The Zingy Pro is a Unibel. That's a point in the Zingy Pro's favor, in my opinion. In my opinion, Unibels are usually more desirable than uh, two-piece bells. Single-strand windings, that's good. Single-strand windings, that's good. Again, none of these are deal breakers. Like motors with with uh, dual with multi strand windings is not the end of the world. I think those are single strand windings. Good. Hmm. Uh -huh. Interesting. These are reasonably accurate descriptions of the different KVs. I don't hate that. There are a lot of characteristics of these motors that I won't be able to take into account just by looking at the product pages. I don't have a ton of experience flying. I've got experience flying the Zingy Pros because they were on one of the aircraft that I got from iFlate a while back. Don't have a ton of experience with the T motor Velox or the Axis Flying. <laughs> IP fifty three rating, cute. I see what you're getting at there. So I would definitely go take a look and see if Chris Rosser has rated any of these. I'm not going to do that here on the live stream in the interest of time. I would definitely take that into consideration. I, I think that my, my gut feeling is that the Zing E is going to be the more premium motor because I know that the Zing E uh, borrows a lot of, uh, of design choices from the, from the full-size Zing motors which are very good motors in my opinion. I probably would go with the Zing E. I don't think you're gonna go wrong with any of them. I don't see any like deal breakers on any of them. And I would definitely take a look at the results from Chris Rosser if he's tested them. <laughs> 